Today we're going to see a demonstration of integrating Microsoft VSDS and iWrite. In particular, we're going to look at a use case between integrating iWrite chapters and transferring those over to VSDS as high-level features to be worked on, and then lower-level requirements that will be written against those chapters will be flown over as lower-level requirements. And we'll also see some ongoing various attribute updates. We'll see some status updates. For additional communication purposes, we'll also see comments and attachments, as well as backlinks for navigation purposes. So let's get to it. So we'll start here in iRise, and we have our chapters or screens laid out on the left side and uh, requirements written against these screens. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sample chapter and a few demo requirements underneath it. So we're going to create a new chapter and we're going to create it based on just a basic template that we have here in our project. We're going to call it demo chapter so that we can easier find it. And now we're going to go ahead and write a couple sample requirements against this chapter. We're going to say demo requirement here. So at this point, we will go ahead and jump into our TFS backlog and refresh the backlog on this side. And what we see down here is we see that a demo chapter has been created on our backlog, as well as the demo requirement that we wrote against it. Um, now, as far as the attributes that are flowing back and forth, it's up to you to decide what pieces you want to flow uh, back and forth between the two um, sides. As well as, as we were talking just a moment ago about um, the use case diagram, we can also have various pieces flowing back to um, iRise to update the design team on status and progress of this particular item. Um, we could potentially move it into a particular iteration. We could also set it to active just to say that some work has been started on this, um, on this requirement. We're going to jump over into iRise now, and we're going to jump into this backlog view here. And my backlog view here is um, organized based on my development status so that I can easier follow my uh, requirements and know where they are in the process. So here's my demo requirement. It has already been moved into progress into this column. So if I look at some of the um, some of the pieces that were coming over from uh, TFS as well, so first and foremost we can see that it has been moved into our iteration one, so that will continue to be updated as we move it through our process. Also, we can see that the development status has been sent back over to this side. And if we, actually, if we look at some of these related links that we have for this particular demo requirement, we can see that we also have a pointer that points to our actual work item within uh, TFS. Um, now, if we wanted to do some additional communication and um, have some additional um, collaboration going on between, uh, with our development team, we could come in here and add a simple attachment. So I'm just going to add a sample screenshot here. And we'll also throw in a comment. And once we've added that, we're going to jump over to TFS and we will see some of these pieces being updated on this end as well. So if I open up my demo requirement, a couple of things here. We can see that the attachment has come over as a screenshot and also my comment has come over. Uh, and also uh, maintaining the actual, the true comment author. And we can say comment back. And we can say that this is actually now finished. So we're going to set our um, 
our state to closed. We'll go ahead and save that off. And now if we jump over to um, iRise and look at our demo requirement, we can see that the demo requirement just jumped to our done column, updating us really uh, fast on the true status of this particular requirement, as well as our comment back uh, from TFS has been recorded here as well. And one of the things that we saw in the use case diagram was the notion of um, backlink. So if I launch that URL, then it'll take me straight to that artifact. And same from TFS side, I also have this link here that points me straight to the iRise simulation. So you can just jump into the simulation if necessary. This was the demonstration of an integration between Microsoft BSDS and iRise. For more information, please visit tasklab.com.